It was a chance to speak your mind. Council held a special meeting last night to discuss downtown parking. It has been an issue for several months and it is nearing the end. Recommendation 8.5 of the Core Review Final Report, reinstate downtown pay parking. It's been a hot button issue for Council ever since. It's estimated new advanced technology could generate half a million dollars for the city and increase traffic flow. It allows you to pay by phone, it allows you to pay by credit card. You can have a merchant validate your parking for you. They can do it in advance. If you've got an appointment with your hairdresser or if you're going down to see the banker, um, they can pre-validate your parking before you arrive, which is just phenomenal. And it'll even send you a text five minutes before your parking is about to expire. The Downtown Business Improvement Association says it is all for the use of technology, but use that technology in conjunction with greater enforcement, not a user pay system. Bylaws changes have to be made. We've got some suggestions, we've got copies of bylaws that we know work in other communities, Nanaimo, Kelowna, it's done well down there. So we know that can work. So change the bylaws first so they can be properly enforced. Uh, change the signage. The signage is not acceptable. The DBIA feels the use of license plate recognition programming will mean enforcement will be quicker and safer. Cameron Stoltz agrees the technology is user friendly, but the city need not use a hammer to kill a fly. From a goodwill gesture for customers coming to downtown, what's more of an inconvenience? Having a tow, fine, tow and a fine of $150 or being getting a text five minutes before the parking is about to expire saying, hey, your parking is about to expire. Stoltz feels pay parking will address what almost everyone agrees is a problem with parking in the downtown in a much simpler way. What I'm looking at is how can we achieve the ultimate goal of making sure that parking spaces are being freed up and that the traffic is moving around, around those parking stalls. That we don't see people just parked in front and then doing the car shuffle all day. There were plenty of questions for both the proposed operators of the pay parking system and of staff, which makes homes feel that perhaps pay parking is not a fait accompli. Credit, they're willing to learn. It's not just a rubber stamp. So people are looking at it with a more open mind. They're, they have some questions to ask, which were asked last night. We still have some work to do. The final decision, one way or another, will be debated by council at the September 23rd regular meeting. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.